Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA A Plus Core 2 video series. This is part 4 in this uh, video series. So let's get started with the question. Question number 1 is that which of the answers listed below refers to a permanent assignment of an IP address? And we have the options, the static IP address, private IP address, dynamic IP address, and public IP address. And the correct answer is the static IP address. So when, when you assign a static IP address to a host uh, or to a client or uh, for that matter to a computer, to a network device such as switch or router, this address is permanent unless you again change that IP address. Question number two is that which type of server handles the assignment of dynamic IP addresses? And the options are DHCP server, authentication server, DNS server, and proxy server. And the correct option is DHCP server. So the, as you all know, the DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So here the dynamic is related to this dynamic assignment of IP address that is used uh, over the LAN and uh, the DHCP servers assigns dynamic IP addresses from a specified range to the clients inside the LAN or the specific network. Question number three is that in a network using subnets, the term default gateway refers to a network device that is router that enables exchange of data between hosts residing in different subnets. So we have two options and the options are that whether the statement is true or false and the correct option is true. So when you assign a default gateway to, to a host, let's suppose this is a host and you have assigned and let's suppose this is a network device and this is another host so if these two devices are on the same network let's suppose this host has IP address 192.168.1.2 and this host has an IP address 192.168 and 1 dot let's suppose 3 and the network subnet mask is let's suppose 24 and 24. So in that case these both hosts are on the same network and they can communicate without the without the default gateway but let's suppose we have another host which IP address is let's suppose 192.168.2.2 let's suppose this is another network so this network is different. In that case, if this host wants to communicate with this host, we must assign the default gateway. And that gateway may be defined over this network uh, router or network switch. And this gateway may be 192.168 and 1.1. So using this default gateway, if this host wants to communicate with this host, the traffic is sent to this default gateway that means this router and this router then sends the packet to this host uh, if this and again if this host want to communicate with this host no need uh, of the default gateway is required question number four is that which of the following answers refers to a to data required for manual configuration of network adapter setting in Microsoft Windows. And we have to select all the correct options and the options are IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, MAC address, DNS server address and SSID also known as the network name. And the correct options are the IP address, subnet mask, the default gateway and the DNS server. So when you assign, you, have, you must have assigned uh, IP address to your PC. These four options are available to you. You can assign uh, the IP address, again the subnet mask. These two are must and 
again as we uh, studied in the earlier question if you are uh, if you want to access a host in a different network you must give the default wage and again if you are using internet or you are you are using urls then again a dns server is also required ssid this is usually uh, typically used inside the wireless access point that means there the network name that is broadcasted by the wireless access point question number 5 is that a system that uses public network such as the internet as a means for creating private encrypted connection between remote location is referred to as options are wlan vpn pan and vlan and the correct op option is vpn or virtual private network so the virtual private network is used for encrypted communication let's suppose between two host over the internet let's suppose this is an encrypted tunnel and this communication is done over the vpn Question number 6 is that a type of network consisting of computers and peripheral devices that use high frequency radio waves to communicate with each other is known as and the options are MAN WLAN LAN and VLAN and the correct answer is WLAN or wireless LAN so again here the wireless since uh, the communication is done through high frequency radio waves radio waves are used in wireless communication so this wireless lan or wireless local area network is the correct answer question number 7 is that which wan technology takes advantage of cell towers that provides wireless signal coverage for mobile devices and the options are pan wan satellite and wlan or wireless lan and the correct answer is wan so in that case uh, wan stands for wireless wide area network where uh, we w lan stands for wireless local area network so since the tower and the mobile devices they communicate over a wide area network or wan and again it is wireless so the wireless wan or wireless wide area network is the correct answer question number 8 is which of the following answers refer to the most common network communication technology used in the world lans mans and wans man stand for metropolitan area network wans is wide area network and lan is local area network so the correct uh, the options are dial up dsl ethernet and isdn and the correct answer is ethernet so ethernet is the protocol that is most commonly used over the lan or man and in also in the wan it is uh, here they have uh, used the term technology but we can also call the ethernet as the man protocol that is used in these networks question number 9 is that a window 10 feature that allows to impose data limit on an internet connection to save bandwidth is called options are mired service bandwidth cap resource pooling and metered connection and the correct answer is metered correction this option is available inside the internet or network setting in windows 10 so the metered connection is the correct answer question number 10 is that which of the statement listed below is true and the options are a 32 bit hardware provides support for 32 bit and 64 bit os and applications option 2 is a computer with a 32 bit cpu can run 62 bit operating system or os and applications without compatibility issues option 3 is a 64 bit hardware provides support only for 64 bit oss and application and option 4 is a computer with a 64 bit cpu can run most 32 bit oss or operating system and application without compatibility issues and the correct answer is the last one that is a computer with a 64 bit cpu can also run most of the 32 bit operating systems and application without compatibility issues 
Question number 11 is that which built-in functionality allows certain CPU models to take over tasks normally executed by a more powerful and dedicated graphic controller? And the options are VGA mode, integrated GPU, multi-core architecture, and hyper-threading. And the correct answer is the integrated GPU. Question number 12 is that a special purpose memory used by graphic controller is referred to as options are SRAM, PROM, VRAM and DRAM and the correct answer is VRAM. Question number 13 is that which of the following terms denotes a 32-bit CPU architecture and the options are x32, x48, x64 and x68. X 86 and the correct answer is x86 so the x86 refers to the 32 bit cpu architecture question number 14 is that a 32 bit system typically provides support for up to options are 4 gb of ram 8 gb of ram 16 gb of ram and 32 gb of ram and the correct option is 4 gb of RAM. So a 32-bit system, it is usually, uh, it is limited to or it supports up to 4 GB of RAM. If in a 32-bit uh, system or 32-bit operating system you install a RAM more than 4 GB, let's suppose you use 8 GB of RAM, then the extra 4 GB of RAM is wasted, it is not used, it only support or it can use only up to 4 GB of RAM. Question number 15 is that which is the theoretical limit of addressable RAM for 64-bit CPU? And the options are 64 GB, 128 GB, 2 terabyte, 6 terabyte or none of the above. And the correct answer is none of the above. So the 64-bit it supports way more than all these up uh, usually i think it supports up to 16 terabyte or maybe more question number 16 is that which of the answers listed below refers to 64 bit cpu architecture options are x32 x48 x64 and x86 and the correct answer is x64 so the 32-bit architecture is denoted by x86 where 64-bit is denoted by x64. Question number 17 is that the process of the program, the presence of the program files x86 folder on the C drive in Microsoft Windows indicates that the PC takes advantage of 32-bit architecture and OS version. And the options are true and false. So the correct option is false. So this uh, option is false. The 32, the uh, presence of x86 folder in Windows shows that if the Windows is 64 bit, it means that it also supports application or programs that are supposed to run are on 32-bit. So this statement is wrong. This, the presence of this folder shows that you can also run x86 or 32-bit applications on a 64-bit system. Question number 18 is that in computer security, a type of small factor physical device used for authentication is commonly referred to as a hardware token and the options are whether the, uh, this statement is true or false and the correct option is true. So that's all for today. I hope you people have learned something uh, from today video. I will upload uh, more videos in this series and eventually I will also upload video based on the pbq or performance based questions so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you and bye bye